San Jacinto Christian Academy was founded in 1982 as a ministry of San Jacinto Baptist Church, and we now serve a broader constituency. We're in a non-denominational, independent school providing Christian education. The best representation of this school are the kids. A lot of times I'm known as Abby's dad or Ben's dad. I'm not known by my own name. And so the kids are the ones that have the most influence here. They're the ones that make the difference. They're the ones that are this school. My favorite thing about being in class is to see all my friends and being able to talk to my teachers and tell them some things that I'm having trouble with and so I can understand and get better grade. San Jacinto Christian Academy exists to assist parents in training young people to know and love Jesus Christ, to follow Him in life, and to become positive, productive members of the coming generation. Sending our kids to a Christian school has actually made us focus on being a better role model to our kids because I see Stetson learning from them and I want him to learn from me just as much. You have teachers like Miss Moss, you know, that, that just know the kids. She knows my daughter and she loves my daughter and she says good things about my daughter and says them to us in front of her and that, that builds her up. So one of the great things about San Jacinto Christian Academy is, is the religious freedom that we have. And so we have the opportunity to have weekly chapel services. Uh, but then beyond that uh, is, is the opportunity to take God's Word and integrate it into each and every subject so that the subjects aren't standing on their own, but they're standing in the context of God's Word. Why it's important to instill a biblical worldview in kids today? because we have a generation of kids that have been built on several generations that have kind of wandered away from the truth. And the Bible is very absolute about its truth. And it's very important for us to have a foundation set on filtering all the information that people get through the grid of the Bible because they're not gonna get it out there in the world. The only way they're gonna get it is at home, in the school, Christian school, and in the church. And uh, we need to band together to be able to build that foundation, that worldview in each child that we have. There's a level of accountability there that I'm not always going to make the right choices, but there are a lot of people that would be supportive, but would also let me know, hey, you know, maybe next time, or this is what you could do better, or let's work on that, you know, let's talk about it. There is no dollar amount that you can place on your kids coming home and quoting you scripture when things are going tough in your life. There's no amount of money that you can pay for your kids to have good relationships with other kids. There's no amount of money that you can pay for your kids to get the teaching that they get in the environment that they have in the classroom. You can't pay enough money to know your administrators, your board members, and to know that they care about your kids, to know that they want the best for your kids. So looking back now, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give it up. And matter of fact, I'd probably work two jobs just to keep them here if I had to.